Hi, I'm Anastasia Schothart from the University of Washington, presenting work on understanding blind screen reader users' experiences of digital artboards conducted by myself, Alexis Snicker, and Jacob Wolbrook. An artboard is a two-dimensional digital canvas that's object-based, like Adobe Illustrator, as opposed to pixel-based, like Microsoft Paint. Creative and professional software applications involving artboards are prevalent in schools and offices around the world. Familiarity with such applications is an expectation of many employers. Blind software users, however, are often confronted with significant accessibility barriers when interacting with such applications. Although screen readers can announce some visual data for blind users, the information offered is often either incomplete or difficult to interpret. To illustrate this, the following is a screen reader describing objects on an artboard in Microsoft PowerPoint. The artboard has a green circle next to a red rectangle with the words hello world on it. And to the right of them on the bottom edge of the artboard is a black arrow pointing up. Text frame hello world. Right arrow. Rectangle obscured. Oval. 164 points from top slide edge. 297 points from bottom slide edge. In order to understand the needs of and issues faced by blind users of artboard programs, we conducted a mixed method study in two phases with 15 total participants. In the first phase, we conducted contextual interviews and observations with 12 participants. In the interviews, we asked participants about their experiences with artboard programs and then observed them creating a digital presentation about their favorite book or animal using their preferred program. They were asked to think aloud as they made the presentation. The second phase was a task-based usability study of 12 participants, nine of whom participated in the interviews. During the study, participants performed two sets of tasks. The first set dealt with content interpretation, and the participants had to answer questions about the artboard shown at the beginning of this video. The second set dealt with content generation, and for these tasks, participants were asked to place and manipulate objects on an artboard. Participants were timed while performing the tasks and were asked to stop after five minutes. We found that blind users experienced significant educational and professional barriers due to the inaccessibility of artboards. These included feelings of exclusion or isolation from sighted peers or colleagues, a lack of accessibility knowledge among sighted artboard authors, and experiences of barriers to participants' own authorship. Participants also reported high cognitive loads from a lack of feedback about artboard contents and object state. Participants struggled with remembering all of the information they were receiving, sorting out which information was actually needed, and then performing calculations in their heads to complete a given task. One participant commented that it was too much information and not enough at the same time. Participants consistently encountered challenges related to understanding relative positions of objects on the artboard and the relationships among objects. In the usability study, for example, only four participants were able to at least partially determine the relationship between the rectangle and the oval. Based on participant interviews and observations, we identify three goals for design inter interventions to improve artboard accessibility. First, using Bennett et al.'s interdependence framework, the accessibility of artboards can be understood as a relation between a blind person on the artboard program, other assistive technology, and the other people who interact with the blind person and the artboard project. So what kinds of accessibility features could assist a sighted artboard author? For example, one participant expressed a desire for presentation programs to alert an author when their presentation is inaccessible so they would have to knowingly exclude people. Secondly, we propose that artboards have glance ability. Several participants expressed that the cognitive load required to understand a slide's spatial layout or to accomplish other tasks related to that was not worth the results they achieved. However, participants indicated that this information would be useful to have if it did not require as much effort and expertise to obtain it. One participant said that just as sighted users receive a print preview of a document, we need something as blind people to have a print preview but be just describing where elements are in relation to one another on the page. Another participant proposed tactile feedback as an option for improving glanceability. I want to visualize the triangle as I'm like feeling with my fingers, they said. Lastly, several participants perceived the artboards as fragile, something that they could easily mess up unknowingly, which caused participants to be afraid to interact with projects. Instead, we propose that an artboard should be robust in order for users to perceive it as something they can manipulate without worrying that they will break it. 
A robust artboard would, for example, clearly indicate to a user that an object manipulation has occurred and describe what that manipulation was. Thank you for your time.